Today I'm going to talk about queries that are updatable in Access. There are times when you can make a query that is not able to be touched or edited by the user. You need to be sure that you make that you'll make the query that you want to capture user input updatable so it'll actually work. So I'm going to run through a bunch of situations, but first I want to show you a little bit here with my database and show you a couple um, couple real situations that work or don't work just fine. So if I uh, open this test one right here, I can go ahead and type in here, George, uh, let's George, George Simpson, he's a vice president, and I can edit that one just fine. Now that's a single table query. So if we look at the design of this query, we can go just see that it has one table, and with one table, it can be updated as long as you either include the ID field or the ID field is an auto number field and automatically gets added when you add a record, okay? So let's go ahead and put this one down. Now here's a couple situations. Now I'm, I totaled my sales by month and by year. And in doing that, what I accomplished was getting totals for 2009, then 2012, and 2013 for each month, okay? That is really nice, but let's say that this number is wrong right here, and let's say I want to update that to 125. And notice the more I type, the more the computer complains to me. Obviously, I cannot update this query because it's what they call a totals query. So it's not tied to any one record, and that is really the key. Being not tied to one single record, it doesn't know what to update. That is an aggregate total there of maybe three or four or five records that were in 2012 that were in the month of March and totaled up to 124.97. So one of those situations that you cannot update is a total square. Another situation is this kind of layout, um, it is a cross-tab query, and being a cross-tab query, it's also aggregated. It sums up the values in between here and puts it in rows and columns, and you can't touch any of the cells. Even if I wanted to update this to 75, again, the computer would just complain to me. So what are all the situations that I need to avoid, and which ones can I actually use? So let's go ahead and uh, see what we have here. If it's one table, it's updatable. I showed you that was my query test table where I typed in George Simpson. The next situation is a one-to-one -one relationship. That, even if it's in multiple tables, is going to be updatable and you can do the updates. The next one is a one-to-many relationship. And as long as you understand the restriction on key, keeping the key fields in sync, that should be updatable mo most of the time. The many-to-many -many relationship cannot be updated unless you put it in a form and you manage that switch table in between, the one that tells the many side how it's connected to the other many side. That one is a difficult one to deal with. Two or more tables that you don't have a join at all, there's, there's no hope. You, that will never be an updatable query. A cross-tab query that I showed you cannot be updated. A totals query that I showed you already cannot be updated. If you have the unique value property set to yes, in other words, it's only going to give you unique records, that can't be updated because there's a possibility that you could have two records represented by one row in your data that the database wouldn't know which record to update or, or whether to update both. So no, that's not updatable. If you have an ODBC connection to like a, an Oracle database or a SQL Server database or any one of a number of other databases that you can connect with ODBC and, it, and that table has no unique ID you would not be able to update that table. So here's a quick run through on the tables that you can update and those that you can't. I hope you've enjoyed what you have seen here and I hope you'll subscribe down below. 
and uh, stay in tune and I'll post a, a new access video probably at least every other day. Thanks for joining.